Hello everyone. This video is the directions that you will need to upload your video that you have made of your teaching. It has come to my attention that you have been using a Canon camera to do your filming and each one of you has an SD card that you have used to save your work to. Well, what I want to show you is, is how we have to work with that SD card and how we then can place the file that we create into its final resting place for you to complete this assignment. Well, the first thing we have to realize is, is that the camera that you use films in a non-standard format. Specifically, it films in a format that is used just by Canon cameras. Now, what do we mean by formats? Well, format is nothing more than the extension that you see on a file name. Word documents all end with .doc. PowerPoints all end with .ppt. You get the idea. So, video is the same thing. It ends with an extension that basically makes it understandable, recognizable by other programs. The problem with proprietary standards, like the one employed by Canon, is we can't do anything with it unless we have Canon's own specific piece of software. But we can convert it to a format called MP4 that will allow us to then use it in this assignment. Let me show you how we're going to do that. It's extremely simple. Let me clear the decks here. As you can see, I've already had my SD card inserted into the computer. And this is the first thing that pops up. It says, well, hello there. There is a card that has been put into me. Right now you have the following options. I'm not going to necessarily use this because I want to look on my SD card to pick what it is that I want to use. So I'm going to go to the Start menu. I'm going to go to Computer. Now I can see my SD card right here. And I'm going to double click on it. When I do that, Canon stores its videos in a folder called SD Video. Isn't it nice of it? Now it gets a little crazy. Because now you have to know that this PRG001 is where it actually puts the videos. I'm going to click on that. When I do that, I now can see the movies that are on my SD card. Notice that on this computer, it already knows that it is going to be opened by an application called VLC. Now, if this doesn't pop up on your computer this way, what we can do is we can right-click on it, and we can tell it to open with, and as you can see, there it is. It now sees it has two choices. Do not open it with Windows Media Player. Windows Media Player cannot convert. So here I go. I'm now going to open my video that I have on my SD card. And what it's going to do is it's going to open it in something called VLC. And the nice thing about VLC is it's one of these programs that basically can work with any video file to do just about anything that you want to do with it. It's just that simple. And here it is. Now, the first thing it's going to do is it's going to try to play your video, which is fine. 
Now my video on this uh, on this looks horrible because all I did is turn it on and lay it down on the table and I let it run for about uh, well actually it says I let it run for 13 minutes which is fine because that's what you all are kind of working within the confines of. So now I'm going to stop that because I don't need that running while I show you the next steps. Watch how easy this is to do you all. So once I have it open in VLC I can come down here to where it says convert slash save. I can click on that. When that comes up, basically what it's asking me to do is you need to find the files that you want to put in here to convert. All right, I'll do that. So I'm going to click on add. I'm going to go to my computer again. I'm going to open up that Canon again, SD video again, PRG001 again, find the movie, and open. It now sees that there's a movie there. I can come down here and I can say I want to convert don't play with any of this. This is exactly what you want. Now, here is where you can give it a true name that you would like to have it. So I'm going to call it Steve Swan Video. Did you notice? I don't leave any spaces there. The web hates spaces. This is just a rule to live by, folks. Don't use spaces in anything you do that's going to eventually end up on the web. You can use underscores if you really, really need a space. I just alphabetize the words as I write them, and that helps you be able to read it. All right, so now I've given it a file name. I need to browse and find where I want that to go. I'm going to give it that file name. Now, what did I call it? Steve Swan Video. And I'm going to make sure that I put it somewhere where I can find it. So I'm going to throw it on my desktop because that's easy for me to do. We ready? Go. Start. Now what it's doing is it is converting my 13 minutes of MOD video, which is a proprietary format that Canon cameras use and it's going to convert that into an MP4 which is the format of the video we need to be able to post it to our podcast server or frankly anywhere on the web. This is not uh, because we can only do things one way it's because this is the way the web works. All right, I'm not going to sit here and wait and have you watch me uh, allow this thing to convert. As you can see right now, it is converting. So I'll go ahead and I'll pause and then I'll come back when it's finished. Okay, I'm back. It has converted that 13 minutes of video and it took it about 13 minutes. Surprise, surprise. So I'm now going to close that window and, oh, look, I've had something pop up. Well, we'll just close that, too. That was uh, Apple trying to get me to uh, update stuff. And right here on the desktop is my video. Now, I can double-click on it just to make sure everything's working right. And remember, I told you, it's it's messed up because I basically was just turned on the camera and laid it down somewhere. I hope you saw what just kind of popped up on the screen. Let me do that again so you can see it. Now watch carefully. And it kind of comes and goes. There it is, steveswanvideo.mp4. That's it, folks. You now have a file that can live on the web. Well, how do we get it there? Well, we're using something called a podcast. Uh, and a podcast is nothing more than a place to put media. 
that then can be streamed out over the web. Now we can lock it down so that your video will only be seen by you, Dr. Calvert, and anyone else that she has decided can see it. So no worries here about people seeing things that might be used to embarrass you or whatever. Okay? You don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to click on this link that will be in your directions. And now I'm going to type in EDTP. Now the old class that we had was 679. We'll have a new place for you to put your stuff that's called EDTP678. And the password is DR Calvert, all lowercase. So D R C A L V E R T login. You don't need to remember that. Here we are. Now let's count how many steps we have to take to get this in its proper place. We've logged in. We click on File. When we do that, it says, hey, where's that file that you're going to upload? Click on Browse. Locate your file. That's why I like putting them on the desktop, by the way. Locate your file. Mine was called Steve Swan Video. Have you noticed how the file name has no spaces? Remember that now. You do not want to put spaces. You do not want to put any punctuation marks, so no slashes. And you definitely do not want to put periods in this thing. Okay? And that's not because there's something unusual here. That's the way the web works. So I found my file. And now I'm going to say, open. And you see, it now sees my file. Steve Swan video dot mp4, which is the format we need. I'm going to say OK. But now, where it says episode, now I can go back to using normal writing. And I'm going to do that. Down here, you can put a description in of what school you were at, what period you were doing. Uh, this is my teaching math to a class of 8th graders at cool school. You're covered. Now you've given it a title. Remember the title now can be you can use as much punctuation and spaces as you want. Same thing down here. Publish. So now this is 18 minutes worth of video that we just threw at our podcast server. So I'm going to let it sit here for a second and I'll probably go off of this and come back and tell you how long it takes for this to go. Oh, wait a minute. Before Steve could even finish that and pause the video, look. All 13 minutes of your video have, is now uploaded on our podcast server. How about that, kids? Now, understand something. When this is finished... We have to give it a little bit of time to get it all set up, put everything in place, um, and then we can go to our podcast site, and from there we can see uh, what our video looks like. So again, I'm going to pause this for a second, and then I'll be right back.